Hello, I'm Dr. Silberman from New Jersey Sports Medicine. I have side-by-side -side video of the same runner taken two weeks apart, before and after instruction in running technique. On the left side, you'll see in slow motion, very common initial presentation of a runner, usually injured with a heel strike, kicking out or locking out the knee in front of the body with very little heel to butt motion. With instruction two weeks later, you'll see a very nice heel to butt, heel to butt with a nice relaxed bent knee landing forefoot just in front of the general center of mass even on the treadmill. If we go back and look at frame by frame images, what you'll see here when her right foot is in support, you'll see her left leg here, the heel is below the knee compared to this view. Very nice heel up to the butt, nice knee flexion. If we jump ahead to the next frame on each of these views, what you'll see here is her front leg is off the treadmill front leg off the treadmill slightly more. You'll see her rear leg is also off the treadmill in the same position, whereas here her rear leg is still on the treadmill. Here she begins to pull it up much quicker, higher, and faster. Jump ahead to another frame. Jump ahead to another frame. Similar position. Here you'll see her front leg nearly extended with her foot pointed up in dorsiflexion. Compared to this view, there's more bend to the knee. What we'll really look at here is her foot. It's pretty much pointing straight ahead or downward. This position here is one of strain for the hamstring, one of strain causing the IT band to actually move forward in front of the lateral aspect of the knee. Extra work on the tibialis anterior or front of the shin to pull the foot upward and hold it in this position and it puts a strain on the calf muscles as well. Here you see her foot is very relaxed. No strain on the front of the leg to pull the foot up. No extra strain on the calf at the knee or in the hamstring. Jump ahead to one more frame, and what you see here is a heel on the treadmill. This tread is moving back, her heel is foot moving forward. If she was out on the road, her heel would as well cause braking. Her body would have to move from this position over the foot and then in front of the foot. Whereas here, you'll see her foot is closer to her body, and what she does natural way. foot was designed to land on the forefoot with a bent knee versus a more locked out straight knee. We'll play the videos one more time for your comparison.
and a much nicer, prettier running technique, more efficient, less injury prone, the natural way we were designed to run. Thank you. This is Dr. Silberman from New Jersey Sports Medicine. Thank you for watching. I'll see you on the road.